is a quick lesson on how to do some graphs on the calculator. So first, you're going to go to mode and make sure that you are in median and polar mode. And then when you hit y equals, you'll see that instead of a y, you have r. The first graph that we're going to do is a circle. Graphing in polar mode enables us to um, be able to graph things that are not functions. So by graphing r equals sine theta, you get a circle that's oriented on the y-axis. I'm going to go back now and change the cosine. And what changes is that now it's oriented on the x-axis. So changing planet cosine changes the uh, symmetry of the graph. Next, we're going to look at a curve uh, called a uniform. My equation is 3 plus 3 sine theta. See if I can get a better picture on this. I assume So what we have is kind of a dimpled circle, uh, and this is called a dimpled unit. I'm going to change it now so that I have a 2 here and a 3 here, and watch the difference. Now my lunathon has what's called an energy. The last one I want to show you for the lunathon is what happens when both numbers are in the same value. This is called a cardioid. I to zoom uh, to the edges and make sure that that helps. The lunathon now comes to a point instead of having a base. It's called a cardioid because it looks like a heart. Look what happens when instead of using sine, I use cosine. My cardioid is now oriented on the x axis instead of the y axis. So again, sine and cosine changes. The next graph that I'm going to show you is called a rose. There it comes. Let's zoom in so you get a better idea of the difference here. So the rose curve has the same number of petals as the coefficient on theta as long as the coefficient is odd. If I change it so that the coefficient is even, I'm going to have twice as many petals. So when the coefficient is 3, I have 3 petals. When the coefficient is 4, I have 8 petals. Now let's take a look at what happens when I change it from time to time. Try to remember um, what this graph looks like when you go back to 3 theta. Sine of 3 theta. Try to remember the way it's oriented. Changing it to cosine will change its symmetry. Now that petal is oriented on the x axis. The last graph I'm going to show you is called the spiral of Archimedes. I'm going to um, here. I don't have a very good picture, so I'm going to go to Window, and I'm going to change some of my values. Um, I'm not sure what that value is, but I want to put in 4 pi. Maybe that was 4 pi. And I'm going to change my x and y values using negative 10 to positive 10 to both. Of okay. All right, thanks for crashing with me.